guys so today I have a go-to glow makeup tutorial for you because I've been liking this makeup it's very actually quite simple and it's very simple for me because I usually like to do a bit more of everything on my face so this is actually very like toned down for me so I think it's quite easy I hope it's easy for you as well so as we all know Rihanna just launched her new beauty line fancy so I'll be trying her highlighter highlighter stick and the contour stick and also the lip gloss which is really really yum um, what else and that's all the products that I'll be trying so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel I do beauty and fashion and maybe I'm gonna try to vlog next week because I'm going away for a few days and if you don't want to know what I think about the highlighter and the whole thing and how I did this makeup please just keep on watching so to start off the base, I'm not using the Fenty foundation. I heard it's quite dry, so I'm not gonna use it because I have quite dry skin. So I'm just gonna use my good old Dior skin foundation and I'm in the color 031. Um, I love this foundation a lot, it gives you like a really good coverage so you don't need a lot. So before that, I already primed my face with the Versali Unicorn essence and that's it so i'm just gonna put apply this quickly now then i'm just gonna conceal with my um nars radiant creamy concealer and the tart shape tape because this is a little too light for me so i'm just balancing out like the color So I haven't set anything on my face yet, so it's kind of like dewy-ish because it's still settling. So for the fun part with the Fenty Beauty, I bought three matchstick. So I got two highlighters, the Starstruck, which I haven't tried, um, Confetti, and the, contour, contour, and the Contour Stick in suede. And that's the packaging, it's magnetic as probably everyone knows. Um, yeah, so today I think I'm gonna use Starstruck because it's a more neutral, everyday sort of um, high cream highlighter. And okay, I'm just gonna show you. So that's confetti. It's a like unicorny, shimmery stick like color. That's the color. Super pretty. For like one of those days when you want to feel a little bit like cool and different i think this will look super nice on like paler skin tone um probably in winter time i'll use this a bit more than now um the one thing i feel like they are a little bit drying so that starstruck is like a champagne color really iridescent let's put this on I'm just blending it in with my finger. That's how I like to work with cream contour. Um, yeah, it's like super natural. If you're into one of those like super natural um, glow from within sort of look, you'll probably like that. This product is nice. It's fun to use once in a while, but I'll probably not reach out for this that often because I usually prefer something very like highlighty like super in your face sort of highlight so that was quite natural so now let's do the contour so that's suede put this here put it on one side of my face first so in the sephora here in madrid they didn't have that many colors so that was the the best one that i could choose so maybe i could find, have found like a better color because this one is a little bit like very warm i think not that i might actually like warm contours because then i don't actually even need to like bronze that much the contour is actually creamier than the highlighter i feel like so i think i actually prefer this the contour stick more so than the highlighter so you can definitely see the difference this face and this face 
And I'm also gonna just apply a little bit in my jawline just not to be also pale there. It also doesn't really move your foundation um, underneath, so that's a good point. Then I guess we shall also contour the nose. Um, so I like to make my nose a little bit shorter, just like that. And I get that with here. It's almost like you're drawing the tip of the penis in your nose. <laughs> so I'm also just blending in with my beauty blender. I really like the contour stick actually. Um, it's probably one of my favorite contour sticks or like cream contours to be honest. I really like the finish of this, super creamy. I'm not too crazy about the highlighter which is kind of a bummer but yeah I like the contour stick. Okay then I'm just gonna set my face very quickly. So I'm just setting my foundation um, in the areas that I have not contoured or um, highlighted. Then I'm just gonna use my Becca bronzer, this one, in the color Ipanema Sun. So just go over the contour. I'm just using this thing very very lightly because it's very pigmented and this also has a nice sheen so you're gonna have a really healthy glow. So now to the main event to highlight. Um, I got two highlighters from Fenty so it's called the Killer What? So of course I have to get the Trophy White because everyone's talking about that. and. Ugh, my nails! So this is actually quite hard to open. Okay, so it comes with a mirror which is super nice. Um, it's like a really cute package as well. Um, so it would be nice for you to bring it out. So that's Trophy Wife. It's a really like yellow gold shimmery um, highlight. It's basically like pure gold. This will look super super cute on like tan skin. Um, I'll probably be able to use it. I mean I can still use it now very like sparingly. I think I'll look a lot better after I get like a bit more of a tan. But my favorite highlighter is definitely this one. It's the Mean Money at Hasla Baby. So that's how it looks. Um, this one is Mean Money, which I guess by now we all know is very very light. Gives you like a really really subtle um, glow. So if you have to work in the office or something like that, this would be like a good highlighter for you. But for me, I'm all about the Hasla Baby. This one is just beautiful. It's like also a champagne -y highlight. It's super pigmented. Let's do it here. The glow is just really nice. So the way I like to use this highlighter is with the Beauty Blender. <clears throat> I actually bought the highlighter brush as well because it looks so cute and it's pink. I really like how this looks because it's like really perfect for it. But I feel like with the Beauty Blender, it kind of intensifies the highlight more. My Beauty Blender, like this. I just had to change the battery really quickly. Um, I just applied highlighter, Hustler Baby, and here, here, and here. Oh, also on my forehead. So this color is perfect for my skin. It's really, really flattering on my skin, I think. Looks really nice and really healthy looking. I love it. And I'm also gonna take a small pencil brush. So I'm just gonna take Hustler Baby again. So I'm just using it in the corner of my eyes. I feel like this just brightens your whole face so much. Can you see? It's a lot brighter. Or am I just crazy? Also here. So you're probably quite glowy at this point, but for someone like me, um, this is not enough. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever um, Starlit Powder in 
U01. I think that's not the number. I'll link it down below anyway. Just gonna show this here. It's really, really like reflective. This one is almost white. So with this one, I'm just gonna use a very, very small amount. So I'm using the same brush. I'm even just gonna pick out from this part of the lid. So I'm gonna put this just really like in the really like in the corner, just dotting it there. So now I'm using the Fenty brush because this is a really soft and nice brush. I love this brush. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and do this. Makes all the difference. I'm probably like way too shiny, but I don't care. I love it. So that's all for my highlighting regimen. Um, I love it. It's really, really like glowy. If not into like something that glowy, just give the makeup forever. Actually, this is a little bit extra, but I just love it. If I have time, I'll definitely do it. For the eyes, I'm just gonna do something quick and easy. So I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Pot. It's like a cream eyeshadow, and this is in the color Bet. So just using my finger, not using that much, so it's just like a really light wash. So I'm just using a light brown, like a cold light brown shadow from Bobbi Brown. And I'm probably gonna mix a little bit of this at the outer edge of my eyes. This one is called Blonde, and that one is called Settle. Define my crease. And now I'm just picking a little bit of Settle. Um, just intensify a little bit of the edge. That's it. So now I'm just using a blending brush just to blend everything in. I actually really wanted to try um, Chili Mango. It looked like a really cute blush, but they didn't have it here. So that's kind of a bummer. But if you have tried it, let me know. I really want to try it. Maybe I'm gonna order it online or something. Now I'm just gonna use a small brush to define my lower like eyelid. Then I'm using a brown eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is quite like the creamy one um, because they have two and this one I'm gonna use later. But for now, I'm just using this one because it's creamy and it's very like blendable. So I'm just um, flicking a little bit here. And I'm dotting dots around it. I don't want a like sharp eyeliner today, surprisingly. So I'm using the same brush to just blend out a little bit at the edge. I want a softer. Look, if you're a beginner with eyeliner, I'll suggest you to try this one out. So that's how it looks. I'm just gonna tie the tight line my waterline with the same brush. Then I'm just gonna use the other brown pencil. This one is a lot lighter, so I'm just using it um, on my lower um, waterline. If you want your eyes to be less smoky, skip this step um, and maybe use like a skin tone one so it's gonna open up your eyes. But to me, I don't think that look suits me that much. So I usually just do that. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on my mascara. So I'm done with mascara. That's the mascara that I use, the Dior Show Pump and Volume. That's my favorite mascara at the moment. So that's basically all with the eyes. I'm just gonna pop some blush. I'm using the same old blush that I always use from Shiseido. Um, it's in the color OR308. It's a peachy one. So I'm just gonna use this fancy brush from Hakuhodo. Um, it's like super... This one is like really jab looking. I really like it with the gold and the orange. I feel like I'm a Japanese princess when I'm using this. So I'm just applying this in the top of my cheeks. I'm also gonna put a little bit around my nose area to look a little bit more tan-ish. So that's all for the skin really. And the last fancy product that I'm gonna use is just this lip gloss. 
I haven't tried this yet. So this is supposedly to be like a universal lip gloss, so it's supposed to suit everyone with any skin tone. So it's like a brownish pink gloss. It smells like cotton candy to me. Um, yeah, and I really like the packaging as well. This is like a rose gold. Um, and the applicator is also quite big, so that's nice. Let me try it. So I'm just gonna put my setting spray. I actually really like this lip gloss. Surprisingly, I thought I wouldn't really like, like it that much because I'm not too into like the brownish pink sort of gloss. Um, but it's actually really cute under the sun. It's not really like, there's not much of a color, but it gives you like a nice sheen and a really glossy, juicy look. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the products. Um, I would like to know your opinion. What do you think about Fancy as a brand for now? Um, let me know. And if there's any video requests, just let me know as well. Um, yeah, guys, please like and subscribe.